Hello and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries, bringing literature to life one summary at a time. Can't tackle that TBR pile? Don't have time to read? We've got you covered. So, grab a cuppa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. Today in this video, we'll dive into Brian Tracy's time management bestseller, Eat That Frog. This powerful book breaks down a simple yet effective strategy to boost your productivity and conquer procrastination. Procrastination. We all know it, we all do it. It's that sneaky voice that whispers, do it later. It's the master of disguise, often appearing as harmless relaxation or necessary research. But beneath its alluring facade lies a productivity killer. Procrastination steals our time, our energy, and our sense of accomplishment. It leaves us feeling overwhelmed, stressed, and defeated. We know we should be doing something else, something important, but the allure of procrastination is strong. Why do we fall prey to this productivity vampire? The reasons are many and varied. Fear of failure, perfectionism, feeling overwhelmed, and lack of clarity are just a few of the culprits. We tell ourselves we work better under pressure, that we'll have more time tomorrow, that we need to be in the right mood. But these are just excuses, stories we tell ourselves to justify our inaction. The truth is procrastination is a habit, and like any habit, it can be broken. But to break free from its grip, we need a plan, a strategy, a weapon against this insidious foe. We need a system that helps us prioritize, focus, and take action. We need a guide to help us navigate the treacherous waters of procrastination and reach the shores of productivity. Eat That Frog what a strange title for a productivity book, but within this seemingly bizarre metaphor lies a powerful truth. The frog represents your most important task, the one you're most likely to procrastinate on. It's the task that holds the greatest potential for positive impact, but also the one that feels the most daunting. Tracy's message is simple. Tackle your frog first. Don't delay, don't delegate, don't distract yourself with smaller, less important tasks. Eat your frog first thing in the morning and the rest of your day will feel like a cakewalk. This seemingly simple act has profound implications for your productivity. By tackling the hardest task first, you build momentum, gain a sense of accomplishment, and free your mind to focus on other tasks. Imagine this. You have a presentation to prepare for, a mountain of emails to answer, and a report to write. You feel overwhelmed, unsure where to start. Your instinct is to tackle the emails first. They seem easier, less demanding. But Tracy would argue, eat that presentation frog. Devote your full attention to crafting a compelling presentation. Once that's done, the emails and the report will feel less daunting. The eat that frog metaphor is more than just a catchy phrase. It's a mental shift a commitment to prioritizing, to facing your challenges head on. It's about taking control of your day, rather than letting your day control you. Eat That Frog is more than just a catchy metaphor. It's a comprehensive system for overcoming procrastination and maximizing productivity. Tracy outlines 21 practical steps, each designed to equip you with the tools and mindset needed to conquer procrastination. These steps cover a wide range of areas, from setting clear goals and prioritizing tasks, to overcoming fear and managing your time effectively. Tracy emphasizes the importance of clarity, planning, and action. He encourages readers to break down large tasks into smaller, more manageable steps, to set deadlines, and to create a daily to-do list. He also stresses the importance of eliminating distractions, focusing on one task at a time, and learning to say no to unimportant requests. Tracy's 21 steps are not meant to be implemented all at once. Instead, they serve as a toolbox, offering a variety of strategies to choose from based on your individual needs and challenges. The key is to experiment, to find the strategies that resonate with you and incorporate them into your daily routine. Three key themes emerge from Tracy's 21 steps, clarity, planning, and action. These three elements form the foundation of a productive life, a life free from the shackles of procrastination. Clarity is about knowing what you want to achieve. It's about setting clear goals both for the long term and the short term. Without clarity, you're like a ship without a rudder, tossed about by the winds of indecision and distraction. Planning is about creating a roadmap to achieve your goals. It's about breaking down large tasks into smaller steps, setting deadlines and prioritizing your activities. A good plan provides structure, direction, and a sense of control. Action is about, well, taking action. 
It's about putting your plan into motion, executing your tasks, and making progress towards your goals. Without action, clarity and planning are meaningless. They become mere fantasies, dreams that never materialize. These three elements are interconnected. Clarity informs your planning, planning guides your actions, and actions bring you closer to your goals. It's a virtuous cycle, each element reinforcing the others. Eat that frog is not a magic bullet. It won't instantly transform you into a productivity guru, but it offers a practical, actionable framework for change. It's a journey, a process of continuous improvement. The key is to start small. Choose one or two of Tracy's strategies and implement them consistently. As you experience the benefits of increased productivity and reduced stress, you'll be motivated to incorporate more strategies into your routine. Remember, change takes time and effort. There will be setbacks, moments of doubt, and temptations to revert to old habits. But with persistence and a commitment to continuous improvement, you can break free from the chains of procrastination and become a true producer. In our fast-paced world, distractions are abundant. Emails, social media notifications, phone calls, and the constant lure of multitasking all conspire to steal our focus. We pride ourselves on our ability to juggle multiple tasks simultaneously, believing it makes us more efficient. But the truth is, multitasking is a myth. Our brains are not wired for multitasking. When we try to do multiple things at once, our attention becomes fragmented, leading to errors, decreased productivity, and increased stress. The key to effective work is focus. Tracy emphasizes the importance of single tasking, of devoting your full attention to one task at a time. When you focus on one task, you bring your full cognitive capacity to bear, leading to higher quality work, greater efficiency, and a sense of deep satisfaction. Time is our most precious resource. It's finite, non-renewable, and constantly slipping away. Yet we often treat it carelessly, squandering it on trivial pursuits and allowing others to dictate how we spend it. Mastering your time is essential for consistent productivity. Tracy provides several strategies for effective time management, including setting clear priorities, scheduling your day, and eliminating time-wasting activities. He also emphasizes the importance of delegation, of entrusting tasks to others who can handle them effectively, freeing up your time for more important activities. Effective time management is not about cramming more activities into your day. It's about making conscious choices about how you spend your time, ensuring that your actions align with your goals and values. The 80-20th rule, also known as the Pareto Principle, states that roughly 80% of your results come from 20% of your efforts. This principle applies to many areas of life, including productivity. In the context of work, this means that a small number of tasks contribute the most to your overall success. The key is to identify these high-impact tasks and prioritize them. By focusing on the 20% that matters most, you can achieve significant results with less effort. This principle encourages us to be selective, to focus on the activities that generate the greatest return on our investment of time and energy. It's about working smarter, not harder. Saying no can be difficult. We want to be helpful, to please others, to avoid confrontation. But saying yes to every request, every invitation, every opportunity comes at a cost. It drains our time, our energy, and our focus. Learning to say no is essential for protecting your time and energy. It's about setting boundaries, prioritizing your own goals, and avoiding commitments that don't align with your values. Saying no allows you to focus on the things that truly matter, the things that move you closer to your goals. It's not about being selfish or uncooperative. It's about being assertive, about making conscious choices about how you spend your time and energy. It's about recognizing that your time is valuable and should be protected. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription, you help us create more summaries. Comments and recommendations are welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.